All right, bear with me guys, because I'm gonna do a little mic comparison and see which one is best for portability purposes. All right, where'd they look like? Where'd they, where'd they look, where'd they look? If you're new here, my name is Amanda Hernandez. I do a lot of behind the scenes for photography, photo shoots, anything related to photography, and a little bit of video here and there. But for this case, it's gonna be more video related as I'm looking at both of my cameras. I got the E6400 here with the kit lens, 16 to 50, 3.5 to 5.6. And I got the A7 III here with the Sigma 16 1.4 at 3.5. Just wanna match the same aperture. They both got the ND filters. That, so that's why the ISO is high right now, is at 6400. So we're just going over the, the mic quality right now. So for the 6400, I got this mic called Ceramic XM1. And for the A7 III, I have the, the Rode Micro, the standard you know, mic that any vlogger gets because it's just perfect for it. For size comparison on the 6400, it looks way more beautiful and way more compact. And I'm just testing the audio quality. Like, is it good enough to replace the Rode Micro? That's what we're here to find out. Let's do a little quick test. <laughs> this is the Rode Micro Testy 1 2. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? All right, now let's go to the ceramic. All right, this is the Ceramic XM1 microphone. Testing 1 2. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? All right, so you guys let me know what you hear. If you hear any difference at all, or if they sound the same to you, that's a good sign. If they sound the same, that's a plus. The room I'm in is not treated for acoustic stuff. This is this is actually my kitchen table, my dining table. So I'm actually in the dining room. Uh, so yeah, but the main focus I want to focus on for this audio is you got a plus. If I go behind the mic, you're gonna see right now. Ready? All right. So I'm behind the mic. This is the road mic. As you know, it's straight directional. You can't turn it, anything like that. You can't turn it if you, you know, if you're editing. But if you want to do a quick focus onto someone that you're talking with, the roll mic is, is very low cut. But for the ceramic, you can actually spin it. Spin the mic towards me and still maintain that quality of audio, which is a plus. You just turn around and maintain that quality of audio. That's a huge plus for me. And the size of it, you see it, is super small. But now I want to go for the, the the main focus, which is perfect today because it's windy. I mean, it's cold, so gotta get your you know your sweater. Copy merch link in the description. Um, and let's go outside and test this out. See how it is with the wind. The Rode Micro has a, a dead cat on it, so that gives you the best wind protection for it. And the ceramic ceramonic I gotta get the name right and the ceramonic just has a, a regular windscreen so I got a feeling it's gonna fail compared to this to the road micro with the deck cat on but but let's go check it out all right so like I said the same setup the AC 400 might be a little bit taller just because I don't have the same type of handle for it but yeah, this is the wind test. All right, as you can see, it's pretty windy outside. I do see the mic peaking when I'm not talking for the ACC 400. I can't see for the A7 III because it doesn't have a clip-up screen. And I don't have a monitor to this blade to show me what's going on. But I have them right next to each other. They're at the same focal distance, so I have an idea of my framing. Yeah. I got a feeling like this mic, I'm just doing a wind test right now. Yeah, so I think that was a good enough test. To determine the wind because <laughs> it's pretty windy. I'm pretty sure the road micro is gonna pick up some wind too. I want to point out though when I'm using the 
the road mic on the HC400, I do use this little mount. As you've probably seen from vloggers, I use the HC400 or even the A66 or A6100 now. Um, this case, this brings the mic to the left side, uh, to the right side of the camera, and the mic jack is on the left side, which is a little controversy, you know, controversy there because you get the red cable of the roll mic going over. But I actually like it because it, it um, sustains the microphone even better. It's more steady and it has like a little pull to it to retain you know the suspension of it so that's a plus and it maintains level compared to <laughs> compared to the hd 400 the ace the a73 that there's nothing pulling it back so it's like a little dipping a little bit but yeah if you're gonna go with the road mic i highly suggest this but if you like the ceramic the ceramic mic only in you just plug it in walk that's it just turn around whenever you need to so yeah if you're looking into getting the road micro i highly suggest this unless you're gonna get the with the, with the unless you're going to go with the wireless go then get this as well that way it's not in the blocking your camera view if you got the 6400 if you're going to go with the ceramonic ceramonic <laughs> microphone uh i highly suggest it for indoors just by i'm just going by what i see the volume meter peaking with the wind hitting the mic. I'm sure that the Rolex is, getting, is picking that up as well. The Rolex Micro is picking that up as well, but way less than this mic, than the Ceramonic mic. So if any of this was helpful, definitely get this little small bracket. I'll, I'll put the link in the description. Check it out. Check out all the other stuff you want to cage, you know, over this. And yeah, if this video helped you out with deciding a mic that's less visible to the public eye and more discreet, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe, I got more videos coming soon for you guys, more behind the scenes photography shoots. And pretty much after this video, Photo Plus will be happening in New York. So stay tuned for a lot of content. I'm gonna be meeting up with my boy Josh Luciano. Give him a follow. Benji and Sammy from Shadow Gurus, Manny Ortiz, my boy with the Chew Squad, <laughs> and a bunch of other content creators that are on Instagram or on YouTube. So, peace. Oh man, it's chilly. Copy your merch, it's chilly. One, two, three.